I got a new motor mount for my go-kart. Pick this up. Does a, I think zero degree to, no, like seven degree to like 10 degree tilt. So I won't have to have that brace, that little bracket, or I'm sorry, a uh, little one inch to lift the motor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this plate off. I'm gonna cut this bar off. Um, but I'm gonna cut this bar so I can reuse it for some bracing on the other side where it bent. I just bent this frame back. So I need to add some bracing over here. And so that way it doesn't bend again. And I'm just gonna use some of this cross beam here to tighten up the framing. Uh, you know, this is just a hacked up go-kart, good time. So right now I'm gonna just cut this uh, plate off, uh, clean it up so it's just this uh, tube part of the frame right here, and then uh, measure up where I can line up the next piece to uh, put this on. getting a little closer I got the piece made it definitely fits uh, what I need to do is uh, grind down these little pieces here because I need to come over just about another half inch for the mount to fit properly um, you can see it still has a little bit of play in there so we'll get that fixed up and then uh, might as well cut off the tension or two because that's going to be misaligned it's not going to be working out right but I'm going to wait to cut that off just until I can see what I need to really do I got it all lined up and evened up it's about three and a half inches and three and a half inches each side so I'm going to go ahead and just tack weld it in there just uh, just to hold it in place while I continue working on the other pieces um, I still got to move the the tensioner. I got to move it over to uh, to the left some. It's quite a bit to do. I will have to cut off all the seat pieces and reposition the seat as well. Um, but for now, I'm just trying to get the motor lined up, get the motor in, get uh, the chain lined up, and then I'll go from there. Put the seat uh, back brace back on. It's just tacked in right here. Uh, it was a little bit further over to the right and it didn't really look look very well. And it also wasn't a good support on the back. Now it's right in the middle of the back, right in the middle of the seat, so it works really well. I'm just working on the chain tensioner tab now. But uh, it's nice to have the seat back on. First time the seat's been back on since I wrecked. But it's coming together. This is what I'm gonna make the little tab for the chain tensioner out of this little steel here. I got a small piece of frame and uh, I'm just gonna put it down and trace it. Trace it with the Sharpie and then um, cut it out so it fits onto the frame. Yeah, just clamping it to the table here. Got my little mark there. I'm just gonna cut that out, drill a hole in there, and then just kind of cut it off to make a little tab. There is the fruits of my labor. Probably took about 15, 20 minutes to make. I'm not using any real tools other than a drill press and a grinder to make my stuff. I do not have a tube bender or anything. You can clearly see that on this cart. It's all straight tubing with like uh, kind of notched out cuts. But here's my tab to put my chain tensioner on. I'm just gonna go down there. I'm thinking about putting it on this side and then 
having a spring come up to the motor right here so it'll just go straight up I'll just use this spring so here's a little shot of how it came out still gotta do a little bit of um, fine tuning I think I need to take another link out of my chain because it's just not quite pulling hard enough and I want to make sure that this spring well I do have a different spring maybe I'll just try a different spring and see if I can tighten it up um, but looks like kind of like that got a little wheel right there and uh, I put a bolt up onto the motor and then the spring down to the little arm piece and stuff that I made and a little tab I welded on there this is the old tab I gotta take that off but uh, you know that's basically how it how it went so flopping back and forth here so I'll just tighten that up but there's chain tensioners working really well uh, everything else seems to be fine but like I said this is kind of tilted so I gotta secure this a little bit better um, I do have to go back around and do a bunch of uh, tightening up on the welds but overall everything seems to be really good and I'm 